Rocky films have always been the most inspirational movies there are. Let's face it, after the first one, they all kind of became big cheese fests with montages, Stallone giving speeches, all in the name of inspiration, of course, and we love it. Borderline fact. We do. But why? Well, the easy answer is to say that because it gives us a drive, a boost of energy. You know, if that guy can do it, then damn it, I will too. And to be honest, that probably is the answer, but when it comes to Creed, the game changes. So let's talk about it. While the Rocky films were always about rising up to meet the challenge, shedding standards, creating legacies, the Creed films, being the first and second one at this point, have an entirely different theme. Sure, the inspiration factor is still there, but the underlying message has changed from creating a legacy to rising to the level of a pre-existing one. Adonis has to rise to the level that his father, Apollo, one of the greatest boxers in this universe, was at. His challenge lies in not only showing the world that he's a good boxer, but earning the literal right to carry the Creed name. The most interesting thing about these movies is that there are parallels that directly tie the story of the films to actual real life. For example, and I mean the biggest one, being the link between the stories of the films and the stories of the history of the films and the making of them. I said it at the start, Rocky is probably the biggest sports inspiration, fighting, boxing, whatever series of films out there. With six movies and a huge vast fandom of old and young, it's quite the challenge to reboot the franchise with a new lead, to revisit a book that most people thought was closed. The Rocky films had an end in the sixth one. Most people, even Stallone, thought that was it. Rocky was over. Yet here they were making another one with the first Creed film. The link lies with Adonis. Just as tackling the Rocky franchise and rebooting it with a new lead is an insanely difficult task for the filmmakers, so he's trying to get to the level that his father, Apollo Creed, was at. The world loves Apollo Creed. When he dies, that book was sadly closed, yet now, here's a new guy, his son, trying to bring him back, trying to live up to his name. The Creed films are trying to live up to the Rocky films' name. Both are incredibly difficult tasks, ones that define who these characters are. This affects Rocky as well. He was done boxing, just like the movies were done. He witnessed his friend, Apollo Creed, die. He closed that book. Now he's been called upon to attend a new fighter, one that's directly linked to his past and some of his mistakes. Just like the audience is being called to witness a new era of Rocky films, even though they might have closed the book on them. It's tough, but I think they rose to the challenge. While subverting expectations are difficult, especially when you're eight movies in, they continue to surprise. Well guys, those are my thoughts on Rocky and Creed. Quite a colossal franchise if you think about it. I mean. If you think about it in terms of numbers, Creed 2 is actually the 8th film in the Rocky series and um, that's a lot of movies. This was one of my shorter video essays but I felt that what I needed to say and what I wanted to say about this film and this whole series actually could be condensed into this uh, time amount because uh, these films are old, these films are talked about a lot, I grew up watching these films and there's really not much you can say about them except, well, for my part, what I wanted to say. But um, something interesting I wanted to mention to you guys before we wrap this up is that a lot of you aren't following me on Twitter. And um, while I don't like plugging social media and stuff, I would recommend following me on Twitter for one main reason. This right over here. As you can see, I ran a poll recently on my Twitter page um, asking basically if uh, what video essay topic you guys like to see me cover next. And it was between Rocky and Creed or The Dark Knight. And through some heavy battles, Creed and Rocky took the win. Therefore, you are seeing this video first, but fear not. Soon, probably next week, we will see the Dark Knight video, which I'm also really excited about. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, and also on Instagram, but especially on Twitter, then do so, the link is in the description, because you'll be able to take part in polls like this all the time. Um, the reason I do them on Twitter and not on the um, community tab on my channel is because I'm trying to, to incorporate Twitter more and other social media platforms, because I feel people who follow me on there, like, they really get the full experience because I post behind the scenes things over there. I post thoughts, uh, my thoughts on specific movies when I go to see them in the theater. Uh, all sorts of stuff that you don't see here, I post on Twitter and on Instagram. Well, I like to have my, I like to do photography as a uh, side thing. So I like to post my photos on Instagram. So those are two social media platforms that I would suggest you follow me on. Twitter for updates and behind the scenes and taking part in polls and Instagram to see what I'm up to uh, photography wise. Um, yeah, that's about all I'm going to plug for my social media pages. Let's move on. If you guys want to like this video, please do down below. It really uh, helps to pop up on the suggestion pages and stuff. We're really trying to get more of a video essay audience in. Um, the video essays have been, haven't been getting as much views as I want. Um, I don't really mind because I love making them. And I know a lot of you guys love watching them. And I've been getting even some recommendations for topics and stuff, which I find is 
amazing by liking the video and sharing it with your mates and with your friends and even with your cat. Tubbles your cat, share the video with him because more people will learn about it and hopefully we'll be able to get more of an audience that is interested in video essays and stuff like that and more interested in the content that I'm trying to make more of on the channel right now. If you aren't subscribed, which I know a lot of you aren't, then please hit the subscribe button down below. All it does is make sure that you are tied. We are tied for life. I'm joking, actually. It, it really just, it really just um, helps to push up the numbers and makes it easier for you to find all my videos. And if you hit the notification bell, you can uh, be notified when a new video drops. And uh, I'm making quite a few of those, if you know what I'm saying. I really don't know what I'm doing, but um, on the end screen of this video, you can find uh, some of our previous video essays. For example, our previous one, which was on Die Hard 3, as well as how it compares to the previous Die Hard movies, or the rest of the Die Hard movies, and other action movies, as well as our previous video essay before that, which is why Gotham is a comic book brought to life, which it, it definitely is. It, um, quite a good time. Check those videos out, as well as on the end screen, I also left the subscribe button, all that good stuff, my social media links, check those out. And uh, oh yes, almost forgot, if you guys have any thoughts about Creed and Rocky, here, leave us a comment down below, start a conversation, make it like a forum over there for movies and talk like that. If you want to send me a tweet, do that as well, pop me an email, I'm open to that sort of stuff. If you guys want to do that, definitely feel free to do so. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, enjoy the rest of your day as well, your week, your year, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm We'll see you guys in the next one.